Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to turn any boring tripod footage into a clip with energy. And to prove it to you, I'm even gonna use footage that I shot here in this room, literally me sitting at my desk. And if I can make that look cool, I guarantee you can make your footage look cool. If you're new here, be sure to be subscribed because I upload videos like this all the time. And if you haven't already, drop a like on the video and let's get into After Effects. So in After Effects, this is our boring tripod footage of me just in the room. You can see it's quite boring. It's just me typing at a computer, sitting on a chair, all this stuff. And I wanna turn it into something like this. So I'm gonna show you everything that I did in that sequence to go ahead and transform my boring tripod footage that I have here into something a little less boring. It is still just me sitting at my desk, which is kind of funny, but I think it's at least a little bit of an edit. And I think if you have music video footage with artists on a tripod, you can see how that would translate a lot better. But just for the sake, I wanna use this footage. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag in this beat that I found on YouTube. And just bring it right here. And where that sound happens, by the way, that's the CSGO spawn in sound. I used to play CS all the time. I'll spawn in. And then we'll cut it here. So what I'm really doing first is just editing to the beat of the song. It's already gonna add a lot more energy to the tripod footage, as you can see. Cut here, and then let's see. Just loop it right there. Let's trim it to our work area. So this is our full composition. You can see it's still pretty boring. So what we're gonna do first of all is just add some camera movement, some zoom ins, some zoom outs, and we're gonna be doing that by making a new camera object. You can go ahead and play around with the different settings here, make your own custom camera. We can just use a 24 millimeter camera. Honestly, it's gonna look the best. And then if we go into our camera settings and start playing around with it, you'll notice nothing happens. And that's because our layers are not 3D layers yet. So we have to go through and now add them and make them all 3D layers. That way, if we go ahead and play around with it, you can see it's now playing in 3D space. So we're also gonna go ahead and just enable motion blur on all of these. And then at the beginning, just keyframe every single thing inside of the transform. Now, if you go up here to these different three tools here, you can see all of the different 3D tools. I also just like pressing C on my keyboard. That will enable you to go either zoom in and zoom out. You press C again, you can do the rotate, which we're not gonna really do because we're not actually trying to use 3D space. And then this one just moves it left, right, up and down. So the first and the last one are the ones we're gonna be using the most. So let's go ahead and just add a little bit of motion. We do like a slight zoom in and I'm not gonna use the tool because I want it to zoom straight at first and then here do a little bit of like a crash zoom. So what we need to do is just keyframe all of the different values because I just wanted to zoom straight a little bit. And then right here, do a little bit of a crash zoom into the Shake Sauce logo. So you can see just like that. And we're also just gonna always just add all of the keyframes. And that's a little slow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move the keyframes a little closer to the transition actual part here. Just takes a little bit of playing around with. And then we can do a little bit of like a hold for a second and then start to zoom out again and move the position a little bit. And then again, just making sure all those keyframes are always checked. That way we don't have any weird like movement. And then let's go ahead and move that closer to the cut. And then I'm just gonna highlight all of these and click reset. That way it's gonna go back to the default setting. And I think because it zooms out, it looks a little weird here. So we can actually go ahead and figure out a way for it to just not look as weird. And then as I'm typing here, just zoom into myself a little bit, move it over here, add all those keyframes. We can hold it like that and then do another one of those crash zooms back here, add all of our keyframes. And then right before the end, I'm gonna add all keyframes and then reset for the beginning like that. So now when we play that, we can see a rough idea of like what our effects kind of look like. And if we highlight all these keyframes and easy ease it, it's gonna make it look infinitely better already.
and it's not looking that fluid, but that's 100% okay. We'll figure out how to fix that in just a second. I'll show you the sauce and how to fix everything. But as you can see, we have these little bit of this black bar here. So what you can do is you can add an effect called motion tile onto all of your footage. We can just go ahead and do it to the clip that we need. Click mirror edges and then put the output width and height to like 150, 150. And you can see it'll fill it out perfectly. And then you can't notice those black bars anymore. And then you can't notice those black bars anymore. And for right now, I'm just gonna mute the audio so we don't have to listen to the song on repeat, but you can see how it's already starting to come together a little bit more energetic. We can also go up to our composition settings and go to advanced and then change the shutter angle up. If you change it up higher, it's gonna have more motion blur. So you can see here, now it's gonna have a lot more. So for something like this, I think I'm gonna go closer to 360. By default, it'll probably be around 180. So we'll just bring it up a little bit past 180 and see what that looks like. And I'm liking the motion blur like that already. And now one of the biggest things, the sauce that's really gonna come through here is Shake Sauce itself. These constant presets are absolutely killer on tripod footage. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you don't already have Shake Sauce, click the link down below. You can try out Shake Sauce 100% risk-free for seven days, cancel at any time. I guarantee you're gonna love it because check out how crazy this transformation is. So you can see here is our footage before Shake Sauce. It's looking good, but there's not really too much to keep it like energized with those zooms. But as soon as we apply a preset like the shaky hand preset over all of our footage, you'll see it do the thing in the background real quick and it will apply over everything. And something like this with the camera motions that we have just hides all of the little bit of like the, you know, not super smooth zooms. Like you can see it's kind of hidden all of this stuff that's like a little bit robotic looking. So now if we go ahead and play the song. I'll show you a little extra kind of sauce thing that you can do. So what I'm gonna do is make an adjustment layer above everything and go to effects and add an effect like radial blur onto like CC radial blur onto that adjustment layer. And then you can see we can make a little bit of a transition here. If we go to the amount and bring it up to like three, you'll see the blur and you can actually click this little icon here and then choose exactly where you want the blur to happen. So right here, you can focus on the next cut, like the shake sauce cut. And then if we go back to shake sauce, we can go one, two, three frames backwards, bring it to zero. Let's see where we want the focal point to be at the beginning. Maybe just like dead center because it's probably where most people are gonna be looking. And let's go ahead and keyframe that. I forgot to keyframe that. So we'll go back to the middle and then keyframe it onto shake sauce and then go one, two, three frames forward. We can also just move it to the dead center. That way it stays centered and change it to zero. So now we have this little like radial blur here just to make it a little bit cooler of a transition. And we can do that multiple times throughout. So now let's go ahead and go one, two, three frames back, go into the adjustment layer here and keyframe the amount and the center. We'll move the center right here, go right to the cut. We can go ahead and keyframe the center to like my face and then bring it up to three and then one, two, three frames, bring it to zero. And that's just gonna have a little bit more of like, give the idea of like what to focus on here. And we can do that one final time over here, keyframe the amount in the center, bring it center here, right to me, bring it to three and then one, two, and three, and then bring it back down to zero. We can also make sure that we have that center on me and then also on me towards the end as well. It's just like a good way to hide the cuts a little bit more. And then one thing I'm also gonna do inside of Shake Sauce, so go back to that Shake Sauce controls layer. I'm gonna turn on flicker turn up the amplitude to something like 0.25. And 
And then if you want to add even more energy, we can bring on our radial blur just to a clip of ours. And then if you hold alt on the amounts, it's going to bring up this expression here. And if you type in wiggle, and then the number that's first is like how often it's going to happen. So the higher the number, the more like often it will happen. And then the higher the second number is how intense it will happen. So we do like something like 25 comma four. You can see it kind of just jitters back and forth like that. And if we go ahead and keyframe the center to like my face, go like halfway through, you're just gonna have to tweak it every once in a while, like just to make sure it's still on your face or whatever you're focusing on. You can now see there'll be this like radial blur around me here as a whole. Just like that, that's one of the simplest ways to add energy to your tripod. You can see our initial clip here. Just a tripod shot of me changing positions and then like this. So it has a lot more energy. Obviously you can go through, cut to the beat a little bit more energetic, but overall you can see how you can add so much more energy with just a few simple zooms, shakes, and then also those radial blurs. If you wanna go ahead and try out Shake Sauce 2, I'll have it linked down below. Like I said, there's a seven day free trial. You can try it out 100% risk-free, cancel at any time, but I guarantee you're gonna love it. That's all I got for you guys in this one. Peace.